Hi there. One of the primary challenges of implementing your enterprise mobile strategy isn't so much the development of the mobile app itself, rather it's the effort of integrating your mobile application with your enterprise backend. So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the challenges of enterprise mobile development and introduce you to Oracle's solution to this problem, Oracle Mobile Cloud Service. My name is Grant Ronald from the mobile platform team at Oracle. Now, if you spend any time looking into the tools and the platforms for developing your mobile strategy, you possibly have come across the term MBAS. So you might be thinking, hmm, what's an MBAS? Well, an MBAS stands for Mobile Backend as a Service, and it's a specialized platform as a service, if you will. Now, Wikipedia tells us that it's a model for providing web and mobile app developers with a way to link their applications to backend cloud storage and APIs exposed by backend applications while also providing features such as user management and push notifications. So this is the bit that's supposed to be helping your mobile app talk to your existing backend systems. So your next thought might be, well, how does that actually help me? What problem is it solving? Now, to answer this, let's take a look at the whiteboard. So let's say your mobile strategy looks something like this. So your organization has a bring your own device policy and your field employees have come to rely on their devices to do their day-to-day -day job. And you've got all these existing IT assets that are currently running your business. So you've decided to expose some of those assets as web services, let's say using REST. And so you've built a few mobile applications with varying success. Hooray, you're a mobile star. Well, almost. Let's say your application is to store configuration settings so that when a user moves from one device to another, the settings are saved. For this, you write some storage logic to persist the settings. Then you code a little more logic to connect an existing business API and a bit more code to shape and filter the API because your mobile application really doesn't need all the attributes it offers. Pretty soon, your users love your app so much that they require more and more apps and you're duplicating code all over the place, writing more code to access cloud or these internet services. And this is where life starts to get a little more difficult because it now becomes much more complicated to manage versions, share artifacts, diagnose problems and get insight into how your applications are being used. And this is where a dedicated mobile platform comes in. Oracle Mobile Cloud Service is a platform that extends and connects in order to mobilize new and existing enterprise applications, whether they're based on-premise or public-private cloud. If you need to connect to a back-end service in a way that adheres to your enterprise security policies, then you can use Connectus for that. When you need to handle common mobile issues like push notifications, mapping a device to a user in your back-end systems, accessing an Oracle Cloud database with REST, or synchronizing offline data, or defining mobile analytics, you don't need to burden the mobile developer with that task. And you certainly don't need to write all of that code yourself. The platform takes care of it. You just call out to the API that you need. If you want to shape and tailor your custom APIs for specific mobile consumers, you can use Node.js and store it in the mobile cloud. And to give mobile developers a single place to look for these resources, you can configure a mobile backend. Finally, to save the mobile developers from writing loads of boilerplate code to do things like access storage objects or send notifications, there's a client SDK for that as well. And so if you move from the whiteboard and look at an architectural diagram of MCS, you'll see how the various building blocks that you need for enterprise mobility are provided by Oracle MCS. MCS provides backend connectors such as SOAP and REST so you can easily configure connections to your enterprise systems. Within Custom API, MCS allows you to shape and filter the information you actually require for your mobile APIs. This way you can define exactly the information you need from your enterprise services. These APIs can then be assembled together into one or many mobile backends which are designed specifically for your mobile applications. This means your mobile consumers have a very well-defined mobile-friendly interface to your enterprise. And of course, you can version any of these MCS artifacts 
as well as organize them through the life cycle of development, staging and production environments, which is exactly what you would expect in enterprise development. Now, pretty much any mobile development project will have a common set of use cases that come up time and time again. The Platform API feature of MCFs gives you out-of-the-box functionality for all those common requirements such as storage, push notifications, security, user management, database API, intelligent offline data synchronization and analytics. And of course, all of these MCS features come pre-baked with extensive diagnostics and logging capabilities. Finally, when it comes to calling any of these APIs from a mobile device, you could handcraft the code yourself to call the exposed REST services. However, to save you development effort, MCS provides client-side SDKs for different mobile platforms to make it much simpler by reducing the amount of code that your mobile developers have to write. So in this episode, you've learned that Oracle Mobile Cloud Service, MCS, provides the functionality of an MBAS or mobile backend as a service, as well as a lot more things. It provides cloud-based services and features for managing, shaping, connecting your mobile applications to your backend business functions, as well as providing a host of useful features such as analytics, security, and push notifications. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos in this series.